Lord be with you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A very warm welcome to our Mass on this Feast of Candlemas, the presentation of Christ in the Temple. Dear friends, 40 days ago we celebrated the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now we recall the day on which he was presented in the temple, when he was offered to the Father and shown to his people. As a sign of his coming among us, his mother was purified, as we now come to him for cleansing. In their old age, Simeon and Anna recognised him as their Lord, as we today sing of his glory. In this Eucharist, we celebrate both the joy of his coming and his searching judgment, looking back to the day of his birth and forward to the coming days of his passion. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray that we may know and share the light of Christ. Almighty and ever-living God, clothed in majesty, whose beloved Son was this day presented in the temple, in substance of our flesh. Grant that we may be presented to you with pure and clean hearts, by your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. The New Testament reading is taken from St Paul's letter to the Hebrews, chapter 2. Since the children have flesh and blood, he too shared in their humanity, so that by his death he might destroy him who holds the power of death, that is the devil, and free those who all their lives were held in slavery by their fear of death. For surely it is not angels he helps, but Abraham's descendants. For this reason he had to be made like his brothers in every way, in order that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in service to God, and that he might make atonement for the sins of the people. Because he himself suffered when he was tempted, he is able to help those who are being tempted. This is the word of the Lord. Lord be with you the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. After eight days had passed it was time to circumcise the child. He was called Jesus, a name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. When the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, 
Simeon took them in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, this child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed, so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age, having lived with her husband seven years after her marriage, then as a widow to the age of 84. She never left the temple but worshipped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At that moment she came and began to praise God and to speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of, Israel, of Jerusalem. When they had finished everything required by the law, they returned to Galilee to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favour of God was upon him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Let us declare our faith in God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to the Father through Christ who is our light and life. Father, your Christ is acclaimed as the glory of Israel. Look in mercy on your church, sharing his light. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, your Christ in his temple brings judgment on the world. Look in mercy on the nations who long for his justice. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, your Christ, who was rich, for our sakes became poor. Look in mercy on the needy, suffering with him. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, your Christ is the one in whom faithful servants find their peace. Look in mercy on the departed, that they may see your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, your Christ is revealed as the one destined to be rejected. Look in mercy on us, that we may find life in his passion and resurrection. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, you kept faith with Simeon and Anna, 
and showed them the infant King. Give us grace to put all our trust in your promises and the patience to wait for their fulfilment. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Hear the words of our Saviour Jesus Christ. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me shall never walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Let us therefore bring our sins into his light and confess them in penitence and faith. Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour, in what we have thought, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and marred your image in us. We are sorry and ashamed and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, Forgive us all that is past, and lead us out from darkness to walk as children of light. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In the tender mercy of our God, the day spring from on high has broken upon us to give light to those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Father, in Christ there has sprung up a light for the righteous. Accept the gifts we bring before you and grant that Christ may shine in us to the praise and glory of your name. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is 
is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy, at all times and in all places, to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And now we give you thanks, because by appearing in the temple, he comes near to us in judgment. The Word made flesh searches the hearts of all your people and brings to light the brightness of your splendour. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. All glory be to you, our Heavenly Father, who in your tender mercy gave your only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption who made there by his one oblation of himself once offered, a full, perfect and sufficient sacrifice, oblation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world. He instituted and in his holy gospel commanded us to continue a perpetual memory of his precious death until he comes again. Hear us, merciful Father, we humbly pray and grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, we receiving these gifts of your creation, this bread and this wine, according to your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. Who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the Saviour of the world. Therefore, Lord and Heavenly Father, in remembrance of the precious death and passion, the mighty resurrection and glorious ascension of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, we offer you through him this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Grant that by his merits and death, and through faith in his blood, we and all your church may receive forgiveness of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. Although we are unworthy, through our manifold sins, to offer you any sacrifice, yet we pray that you will accept this, the duty and service that we owe. Do not weigh our merits, but pardon our offences, and fill us all who share in this holy communion with your grace and heavenly blessing. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Believing the promises of God, 
as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break the bread of life, and that life is the light of the world. God, here among us, light in the midst of us, bring us to light and life. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. Now let us thou, thy servant, depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, you fulfilled the hope of Simeon and Anna, who lived to welcome the Messiah. May we prepare to meet Christ Jesus when he comes to bring us to eternal life for he is alive and reigns, now and forever. Amen. Christ, whose glory fills the skies, fill you with radiance and scatter the darkness from your path. Amen. Christ, the Son of Righteousness, gladden your eyes and warm your heart. Amen. Christ, the day spring from on high, draw near to guide your feet into the way of peace. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in the light and peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. <laughs>